It's ten days before Rodney walks up the aisle, and right now, he's walking a thin line between success and disaster. He's put off the big decisions on the venue, the dress, and his perfect suit. And now, on the evening of his stag do, he's gone missing. I haven't got a clue where he is now. Everybody's meant to be reaching at 7.30. From what I can see, there's no Rodney. Rodney's sister, Kerry, is also trying to track him down. Rodney, where are you? I reckon he's in bed. And he's just decided he's not picking up his phone to anybody. Uh oh. He's not uh -oh. answered, has he? Yeah. Where's Uncle Rodney gone? Huh? You don't know? Oh no. Three hours later, the boys are waiting outside Rodney's house for his big night out. But the groom's still AWOL, and his dad Trevor's starting to worry. I have no idea. I don't know if he's messing about or if he's in trouble. But it's unusual for him to leave all of his friends standing out on the road like this. Is he running on BMT time? You don't even know. That's <laughs> black mean time. <laughs> Try having him again, man. Yeah. No one's seen Rodney in the last 24 hours. But at least the limo shows up on time. Well, this is the first stag do I've ever heard without the main man. I am a, I'm a s tiny bit worried, though, still. But I think we should proceed anyway. The boys head to the West End, hoping Rodney will catch up with them. But party spirit is in short supply. <laughs> OK, we're going to have a toast for Rodney. He would want us to have a toast for him, even though he's not here. I'm completely pissed that Rodney's not here. I'm properly pissed to Rodney. Easy, Rodney. Yes, yes, Rodney. 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 The club's rocking, but the boys aren't. They spend the whole evening trying to track down the stag. in a hospital or whatever, I don't know. Everybody's concerned, we don't know where he is, if he's all right, whether we should even be here, having a drink, enjoying ourselves. It's 3 a.m., the party's over, and Rodney must be the first groom in history to miss his own stag do. The next morning, and Rodney has returned with a sob story about a prank that went wrong. I'm just really upset. Uh, really, really upset. I went out the night before on like a pre-stag do and the guys I was with played a stag joke and left me really far away. No phone and no money. When I got to my phone this morning, I had 241 missed calls. <laughs> 241 missed calls. I mean, there was all my pals there, my family, everyone was there waiting for me. I do feel that I've let them down. They know I'm late, but I'm never late like that. <laughs> I never not turn up. I always turn up, even if I'm late. Oh, I should have known. I should have known better. I mean, just, now I could just uh, put this part behind me because this happens and um, get on with like, fixing this wedding.